Hey Radley Besties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well in today's episode. I don't know. I don't know what today's episode is because I have been a little bit stuck on my projects and not so much on my projects as in just being stuck with writing in general and it's just not a good vibe at the moment. I'm just not vibing with my writing life and it's 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 so fun. It's so fun not being able to write. Um, I don't know. If you guys watched my last video, I've been quite, I don't know, very distracted with my different projects, with Project Ghost, with Project, uh, not Prism, Project, uh, yeah, Project Ghost, Project, I can't even remember, Project BB, Project uh, O, yeah, Project O, that's like my current big project. And I just haven't been writing like any of them. And I like recently just kind of dropped everything and just like haven't been writing at all. And I've just been doing nothing. <laughs> so I guess in today's episode, that's a long-winded discussion, introduction on how to write when you're stuck, how to write your book when you're stuck. And I'm going to be giving some tips that I am going to try to use. Um, but also I just want to firstly talk about the struggles with like writing. And I don't even know if it's like writer's block or like a writing slump, or if it's just simply like I'm stuck. It's just a really weird vibe and I'm not sure if you guys have felt it before where you just feel like like you write odd days but you haven't like written you know what I mean you haven't been like obsessed with your projects how you have been how you were like literally like a month ago and now you're just kind of like writing because you have to work on that project which is ridiculous because I know how passionate I am about my projects and I know how much I want to write but for some reason, my brain just is like, no, it's 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 hard. And I think that's why I honestly think that that's the singular reason, singular reason that we can't write. And I don't think it's a writing slump. I think it's just that I'm stuck right now because sometimes I get a little bit overwhelmed with my projects. And sometimes I think I like love my books so much that I'm afraid to write them. I don't know if that's relatable to you or not, or if just like having that sort of weird guilt for not writing, but also satisfaction of not writing because you know that it's not going to be bad if you don't write it at all. <laughs> I don't even know. But like, of course, that's why I'm stuck because I am afraid of what will, what the book will become if I do continue. And I think historically, if you've watched maybe some of my writing vlogs, or if you just don't know at all, in my books, I have, you know, when I write and I plan and I have a vision for my books, they completely derail. They go, it's not like they completely change plots or they go in like a different, like, you know, a different direction. It's not that. It's more so simply that it's not how I expected it in my head. And it's just so different that I think that I've never really written a story that, you know, I, I, you know, it's so hard to explain. Guys, help me. I didn't even know. But like, yeah, sometimes I'm just like, really like, I have such a clear idea of how the book wants, like how it just needs to feel, how it needs to go. And sometimes when I do write it and it is different, I like it better. But I still have that nostalgia of how my book felt like when I first had the idea and how it looked in my mind and how the characters were and now they're different and it's just kind of like are these two different stories or what and I think that's honestly why I'm stuck and it feels so good expressing it and one of the tips that I have is to talk about why you're stuck like what scene are you stuck on why are you stuck in that particular scene in that story um how are the characters? Like, what are your struggles? Like, what are your doubts with the story? Try to find the root of the problem. And that's what I kind of just did. And I did not script that at all. I was just talking about, mm, I don't know, it's just frustration, frustration, frustration um, with like why I'm not writing at the moment. And I think it's good to be self-aware and good to kind of dissect your problems, but it's also nice to sit. So I guess another tip let's go, I guess we're going to the tips now, I guess, um, is to literally stop, literally stop writing. Um, it's okay to not write for a week, for a whole month. You can still call yourself a writer. You are still that person writing that book. You don't have to be so dramatic. And of course, I'm always dramatic because I'm Anna. You guys know me. You guys know this podcast. 
Um, and it's okay to stop and not write. And I think like sometimes it's difficult when you you feel guilty for not writing and that's because you, you're not aware. You don't say, okay, I'm going to take a break now and you take a break, it feels so much better. But if you just slowly get into that break and then like decide halfway through the month, like, oh yeah, this I'm not going to write this month, it feels terrible. It feels so bad and I feel so guilty and feel so like self-conscious about it so I think that's honestly such a good thing it's for example like the analogy I want to give is basically like when I have a day where I want to rest but I didn't distinctly say in my mind today is a rest day but I just have a lazy day but I never really intended it like specifically to be like that and I feel guilty because I wasted the whole day when at the start of the day if I simply just said Anna today's a rest day I can rest and literally rest then I feel so much better. So I think maybe that's a tip to stop, but stop consciously. Like tell yourself to stop consciously, if that makes sense. Another big tip that I've been actually doing at the moment, like literally like right now, is rereading my work. Is to like reread the the last few chapters, even the whole book if you need to, just to kind of see why you're writing it and like remember all these cool scenes and remember that you've built yourself up to this point where you're stuck and like you know it's it's hopefully going to help you get into that momentum again once you read your book like that again if that makes sense and I think that helps me a little bit um it does definitely re-inspire me of course my writing isn't the best but that's not the point we're not looking at the writing guys we're looking at the scenes the things that you're excited about, the things that you kind of foreshadow and you're like, oh yeah, I forgot I'm going to have to write that. That's kind of exciting. I can't wait to reveal that to the readers, blah, blah, blah. Stuff like that. It's very, very motivating and sometimes reignites that spark if you reread your old work, sorry, and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely do that. Um, anyways, another tip. This is kind of like my last tip. Um, what is it? Oh, yes. This is like more of a practical one that I've been thinking about a lot. And something that I do, this kind of has to do with the tip, is, for example, Project O, it gets to a point where in my first draft, of course, I'm pantsering the whole way. So that's why, honestly, sometimes I get stuck is because I don't really know what I think is going on. Because first drafts are the worst. And if you guys don't know my drafting process, do I have a video on it? I think I do. Yeah, how to write a book in four steps watch that video that's literally how I draft and the reason why I always get stuck in first drafts is because I'm pantsering it I know some scenes I haven't connected them yet but it's literally me sitting down and writing and like it's like through brute force brute force that I finish my first draft so when I read my when I write my like so, sorry that was zero draft when I write my first draft my actual draft where it's actually good writing or at least readable it's easy because I'm literally just rereading, oh sorry, no, rewriting my zero draft, you know? So that's why it's really, really easy. Anyways, the tip is that once you get to a certain point in your zero draft or whatever draft you're on, you simply put in dot points um, what's going to happen till the end of the book. Like literally just dot point all the different scenes that you need to get through to get to the end of your book. And that will make it seem like, oh my gosh, it's actually really, really close. And that motivates me by having that that closeness. But the actual tip that has to do with that tip a bit is to think about the ending. Think about what the heck's going to happen in the end. Literally envision the scene. So you specifically know, you specifically foresee what the heck your book is like directing into. Or else you're just kind of like writing into oblivion. And that sounds very poetic but it's not fun is it no it's not fun (laughs) okay um but yeah I guess that's the last tip and something that's honestly overrated like you know actually envisioning what's going to happen in your book but more specifically like the last chapter not the resolution because the resolution is easy to write but the last chapter very important remember that anyways Thank you for listening to me ramble on this really weird episode where I, I gave like some tips but also like reflected on what the heck and then also ranted like wow this was a, a whole roller coaster of emotions right now. But anyways I hope you guys enjoy this episode. A quick little announcement is that I've been trying to do this in a lot of my videos because some people don't um, 
look on my community page on my YouTube channel, but I post there so much. But just know that I do writing um, write with me's every single Wednesday on my Discord. I don't know when it is. I literally always forget, but it's always 8 a.m. for me in Australia. Um, so it's 8 a.m. A-E-S-T. So whatever that is, wherever you are, just do the math. Do the math. Do something. Um, but anyways, yes. Thank you so much for listening in. Definitely come write with me every single Wednesday because I love it. It's on my Discord and I just love having that little community and just writing with you guys, chatting with you guys. I had so much fun last week and I can't wait till this week. It is honestly like the highlight of my week. So definitely come if you can. Anyways, I love you guys. I hope these tips and rambling helped and comforted you. But I hope you're doing well. Sorry, I just got like a notification through my ear. That was really random. Anyways, I love you guys. And thank you for listening. I'll see you soon. Bye.